In this presentation, we will understand the major differences between for loop and while loop. So, without any further delay, let's get started. In this lecture, we will understand a total of three differences between for loop and while loop, which helps us differentiate between for loop and while loop, and which helps us in choosing for loop over while loop or while loop over for loop in some situations. So, let's get started with this lecture. And let's understand the first major difference between for loop and while loop. The difference number one is that for loop needs an iterable object to iterate. On the other hand, while loop executes based on some condition. For loop needs an iterable object. This means that for loop can run based on iterable object. Now that iterable object can be a list, dictionary, tuple or it can be an object returned by the range function. So, for loop needs an iterable object in order to iterate. On the other hand, while loop executes based on some condition. While writing the while statement, we need to provide the condition and on the basis of that condition, the while loop will execute. Now, let's see the syntax of for loop first and then we will see the syntax of while loop. Let's first see the syntax of for loop. This is how the syntax looks like. For where in iterable, do something. The statements inside for loop will be executed based on this iterable object. We need to provide an iterable object here and this iterable object will decide the number of iterations of this for loop. On the other hand, the syntax of while loop looks like this. While condition, do something. This comment can be replaced by the statements that we want to execute and these statements will be executed based on the condition we provide here. If the condition is true, then the statements inside while loop will be executed. If the condition is false, then the loop terminates in that case. I hope the syntax of while loop is also clear and we can understand the difference between for loop and while loop from these two syntaxes. Here we need to provide an iterable object and here we need to provide a condition. Now as we have understood the difference number one, let's move to difference number two. For loop is used when the number of iterations is known in advance. On the other hand, while loop is used when the number of iterations is not known in advance. Now there is no hard and fast rule here. We can use while loop when the number of iterations is known in advance. But mostly we will use while loop when the number of iterations is not known in advance. We can use for loop when the number of iterations is known in advance because we need to provide the iterable object to for loop and this means that we are providing the number of iterations beforehand. But there is no such concept in while loop. While loop depends upon some condition. Now that condition can always be true and the loop termination may depend upon a user input. In that case, the while loop termination depends upon the user input. Therefore, the number of iterations in that case is not known in advance. So, we can use while loop when the number of iterations is not known in advance. Now, let's see one example of for loop and one example of while loop to demonstrate this fact. Let's take the example of for loop first. For i in range 1, 6, print i. With the help of this for loop, we know that we will get 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 on the screen because to the range function we are passing 1, 6. This means that the range function will return the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and this clearly states that this for loop will run 5 times. So, the number of iterations is known in advance in this case. Now, let's take an example of while loop. While true, after this we need n equal to input, enter the number. Then we need to check if n is equal to q, then break, otherwise print n. Here, we are asking the user to enter the number. If the user provides q, then we will break this loop. Because of this break statement, the loop terminates. Otherwise, we will print the number provided by the user. The termination of this loop depends upon the user input. If the user enters q, 
In that case, the loop terminates. Otherwise, the loop will continue to run. So, this example is showing the potential of while loop. When the number of iterations is not known in advance, we can use while loop. When the number of iterations is known in advance, we can use for loop. I hope the difference is clear. Now, let's move on to difference number 3. Both for and while loop can run infinite times. It should be well understood that both for loop and while loop can run infinite times. In the previous presentations, we have seen the examples of infinite while loop, but we haven't seen an example of infinite for loop. Now, let's see how an infinite for loop looks like. So, let's take an example of infinite for loop. Let's declare a list called items and let's provide one item to the list. So, there is just one item 0 in this list items. Now, let's write this for statement for item in items in order to iterate over this list. And within this for loop, we just want to print item and then we want to append the same item back to this list. So, here we are using this line items.append item. This means we are appending 0 in this list. So, for the first time, item variable will receive value 0. We are printing this item, which means that we are printing 0 on the screen. Then we are appending 0 to this list. Now, this list is containing two zeros. After this, the second zero is accessed by item variable. Again, that value is printed, which means zero is printed. And then zero is appended to this list, which means now we have three zeros in this list. So, after printing an item, we are appending that item to the list. And this means that this list will grow forever. This means that this loop will run infinite times. As we know that the number of iterations depends upon the iterable object. Here the iterable object is items. And because this items list is growing infinitely, therefore this for loop will also run infinite times. Hence when we run this code, we will get a lot of zeros on the screen. In order to terminate, we need to press Ctrl C or Command C. So it is clear that this loop will run infinite times. So, this is an example of infinite for loop. Now, let's see the example of infinite while loop. Let's say that item variable is pointing to value 0. And now, we need to write this while statement, while true. And within this while loop, we will write print item. Here, the condition is always true and there is no termination criteria. This means that this loop will run infinite times. And this means that we'll get a lot of zeros on the screen because here we are only printing zero on the screen. I hope with these examples, it is clear that what is the difference between infinite for loop and infinite while loop. We have understood that we can also write infinite for loop. So, with this, we are done with this topic for loop versus while loop. And this means that we are done with this lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.